This is unboxing of a Kelly kettle and hobo stove and all the accessories. Let's open and see the uh, inside. Let's see what is here. What we have here. Oh, ultimate scout kit. Boils water, cook fast, survive. Hobo stove, pot support, cook set. Cup set, plate set, kettle travel bag, and actually the um, scout, Kelly, Kelly kettle scout itself. Let's just bring the box and see what is inside. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. I will do a separate video cooking with it, but just I'm looking at the content. This is the um, thing that you actually ply or something. You can get everything with this without burning your hand. This is the support. This is the support for the belly itself. Okay, here's the kettle uh, brush hole and the bag. Nice touch, soft. Now, that's the kettle itself. This is a scout version, so 1.2 or 1.3 liters. There's a whistle here. So and uh, practically you can close this without the danger of being you know uh, uh, spattering water outside hot water and it just tells you when it is done this one is a laser machined spot weld as you can see here laser welded it's a stainless steel so it will survive all kind of no temperature and rust, even though rust also is strong enough. And the actual kettle holding water is this cavity around this container here. As you can see, the rest of it is just a chimney. And let me turn on the show you what is inside. Yeah, that's how inside looks. I can say it has a good seam. Look at the seam. Seems so nicely welded. If it was a in a classroom, you could do such a welding. I mean, a technical kind of uh, place workshop that was considered as a very good seal. But that's done by laser. And now the rest of it is inside. Let me just put this down and take that out. Okay, now I'm taking the rest of this stuff out. Well packed. I have to cut the surrounding tape. I will do it and I will show you. Now let's open. That is the base for the kettle. This is the base with your fuel and whatever you have and put this over it the kettle goes over it so the next item is the hobo stove as you can see hobo is just uh, we call what we call in english trap <laughs> the wanderers uh, redneck or whatever you call it in other language, a person who moves around and camps, and like a traveler or a gypsy, as they may be called, and people who are in the move should be impartial. 
So hobo is a name for that. I think it's the word American English. It's not British, is it? A plate. Two silicone uh, lip guard. That is for when you have uh, water. Oh yeah, here yeah, in this cups. A hot water, boiling water. It will not burn you, your lips. Believe me, you can burn yourself. It's so hot, the water from here, 100 degrees, depending on your altitude, of course. Okay. This is the first cup. And you put this lip guard there. So you will not burn your lips. You have to be careful not to lose it. That's the way you hold it. Of course, depending on what hand you use, this will be changed position. This is the, this was 350 milliliter. And this one is a little bit bigger, this cup. You can even prepare your noodle or soup if you have a pre-made ones, 500, half a liter. Oh, that's huge. And you put your lip guard here also. Or should I should put it here. Yeah. The next item in the box is the pot for cooking. So this is a hobo and you can put your pot over it. Of course this will be like that. You put the hobo stove, you have wood here of course, burning, wood or anything that you burn, dung even, dry. And this will be burning and you can make your food over here. And the next item, which is here, this is a complete set. So we have also here two matching plates. The Scott version is enough for two people. And uh, the Trekker one is enough for one person. And the base camp is enough for whole camp. So these are two plates. And you can eat if you want. Uh, put whatever you have here. That's the Plate one, plate two. This is your pan. Of course, these are hot. So how you handle that? Let me just bring that holder. Of course, uh, when I was opening, I saw that there is also a grill. Believe it or not, you have a grill here. So practically, you can put this directly over here and put it here if you feel is safe you can put your pot here even or you can um, directly cook it on it put sausages or anything if the flame is not bothering you and it's up to you what you do with this so let us go for this uh, hand grip so you want to pick something for example this one can pick the hottest stuff with this, including the grill, put them away, you can pick your uh, hobo stove, put it over heat or remove it depending on what you want to do. You can put your pot over the flame in the hobo stove. And uh, there is another item that I have to show you. Is that this stand, a stand extender, whatever you call it. Let me just open it and do it for you. These work 
as several items. Let me just use both hands. Yes, I put the stove over it so you can use it like that as a base for your pot. You can turn it over and use it as a stand for your stove. Oh, well, how nice is that? And um, you can, you can, I've seen some people do that actually. Um, what you can do with a piece of wire, actually attach this grill. Fix it to this. So you can use it like that anytime you want safely. Let me just do it for you. Like that. Uh, you have a bigger surface, you can put a bigger pot if you have, and if you prefer, you can put your pan here, and of course, uh, all the time you try to use this for gripping. The thing is that when you want to remove everything, of course, you have to get to the habit of using the grip. You will not put your hand above here because that's a chimney. That's where the fire comes. So, if you want to, the water is boiled, you want to remove the water, you don't put your hand over it like that to pick it from the, where the fire is. You will burn your hand because there is fire coming from this chimney. So, how you do it? Using both hands, you pick it, then when it is over from the fire, you can use this chain and use it like a lever. You're using this like a lever and you can lean it forward and pull the water from here. That's the way it works. Nice and equipment. Let me remove everything, just uh, all the packaging, and see what is actually there to show and take a, a group picture. Yes, this is practically a kitchen in that small bag, so you can just go out and have a meal for yourself and the uh, outdoors. That is it. Kelly kettle. That's the whole set of the Kelly kettle scout. 1.2 liters.